worship with us at Trinity. Today we are especially grateful to be celebrating baccalaureate with our current graduates and their families. We are so excited that you're joining us through Facebook. Or on your iPad. Or your iPhone. Or your Samsung Galaxy. Or through Twitter. Or Instagram. Wait, do we have a Twitter? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Retweet us anyway. We are hopeful that you will join us through this whole worship service and celebrate our graduates with us. They're pretty cool, and we're really excited and proud of each and every one of them. But we're going to kick it off by kicking it over to Rachel, and we're going to sing The Rock. Take it away, Rachel. <laughs> Well, greetings to our members and their friends and families, and today especially our Friends in Faith Senior Class of 2020. Now with all that's changed in the past three months and all that continues to change on a daily basis, it's becoming harder and harder to remember, remember what normal truly looks like. We've taken for granted meeting up with friends, going out to eat in full restaurants, and even worshiping together. And we've met those challenges to the best of our abilities even here in the example of virtual worship. I find myself now more than ever reflecting less on what has happened in the last few weeks or months and thinking more about the coming days, weeks, and months ahead of us in the future. And thinking about that brings me back to a song that I first heard on a trip in 2012 here at Trinity Lutheran Church, a song called Make a Difference by Rachel Curtis where she talked about working side by side with no out or inside and knowing together that we can make that change. Now seniors, I want you to know that all of the staff here at Trinity are here for you. We're very proud of you and we're very excited for you and all of the adventures that you have waiting for you. We're also looking forward to the amazing change that is coming, a change that you will play a big part in in helping shape our future coming out of this. Now I want to read to you a bit of scripture coming from Psalm 23, verse 1 through 4, and verse 6. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures, and he leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his namesake. And even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff will they comfort me. 
Surely your goodness and love will follow me for all of the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Seniors, the Lord has been with you ever since the beginning. He's been with you and guided you through faith all along, through choir, through bells, through VBS and summer camp, through confirmation and baptism itself. The Lord has been with you like a shepherd leading you through quiet waters, refreshing you as you've explored and encountered faith in unique and different ways here at Trinity. The Lord is still here with you now, watching over you as you take this next step in life onto those greener pastures, whether you are going to college or university for continued education or beyond. Maybe you're taking a breather from class as you discover what's the best choice for you going forward. Maybe you're choosing to serve and protect our nation. Or maybe you're joining the workforce right away and being a part of that change immediately. The Lord will be with you as he is right now, as you go out with that goodness and love and he will follow you as you embark on what is next to come. So I want you to know and remember to keep having fun, keep enjoying life's moments, and keep making a difference out there. It's important. Congratulations to the Friends in Faith Class of 2020. God's peace and grace be with you always. Amen. Greetings to everyone, especially our Friends in Faith graduates and their families. In a time where everything keeps changing day by day and our normal looks nothing like the normal we're used to, I want you to think of this scene from Frozen 2, where Anna and Olaf are together and they keep talking about how everything is changing around them. But then Anna remembers that some things never change, like how I'm holding on tight to you. Just know that in these times, we're still here for you. Our relationships haven't changed. And we're still here cheering you on, even though we might not be able to see you in person. Hebrews 12, 1 through 2 says that, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, for who the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Your cloud of witnesses is filled with the staff here at Trinity, the adult leaders who have gone on trips with you, your confirmation leaders, the kids you have taught in VBS, Sunday school, and Wednesday school, and the countless members of the congregation who have been able to get to know you. We are so thankful for you and for the opportunity we have been given to walk alongside you in your faith journey. This is still an exciting time. You did it. You're graduating. You are looking forward to those next steps. And whether that's figuring out your college plans, maybe you're picking out your dorm room furniture. I've heard that some of you are already doing that and that you've been working on color schemes for years now. Maybe you're taking some time off to figure out what you want to do. Or maybe you are going into the service or right into a job. The future is exciting because of you. I hope you keep telling stories, that you keep laughing, that you keep dancing in the back of church services when you think no one is watching. You know who you are. And I hope that you keep making memories, that you keep growing in your faith. Congratulations to the Friends in Faith Class of 2020. We love you.
My name is Landon Barry. I plan on attending M State Technical College. My favorite memories are playing board games with Mike Young. <laughs> every church trip, every night. I recommend going on all trips. They're all so fun and you make so much memories. Hi, my name is Sarah Ramstead and I'm graduating from Davies High School in Fargo. I'm planning on going to Concordia next year to study Global Studies and French. My favorite memory from church is just teaching all my kids in Sunday school and going to Dairy Queen in the park with them. My advice to... My advice to who? Mm -hmm. My advice to people in general is just to be nice to everyone and get to know everyone you can at church because you can build really great memories with everyone there and they can turn into your best friends. My name is Jonah Hansen. I will be attending Concordia College and a uh, memory I have from a church trip is the little hammock city we set up on houseboat last summer. Hi, my name is um, I'll be attending Augustana University next fall. Uh, plan on majoring in elementary education and running cross country and track there. Um, my favorite memory from the youth group and everything is on houseboat when we hang around in the boats and just chat and talk and are really friendly. Hi, I'm Lauren Melton. Um, my plans for next year is I'm going to be attending UND where I'll be double majoring in political science and English. One of my favorite memories involving the church youth group has got to be during our houseboat trips when we have bonfires every night and everyone sings and there's skits and it's just a really great time. Uh, my name is Sydney Ryerson and my plans for next year are the U of M in Minneapolis for interior design. Um, my favorite memory would probably be the Chicago trip and my advice for other kids would probably be to just make the most out of everything because you never know what's going to happen um, and just make a lot of friends and be nice to everyone and enjoy your time. My name is Juliana Hansen. I am a senior at Moorhead High School. I am planning on attending Loyola University in Chicago next year, majoring in political science, international relations, and minoring in philosophy of social justice. If I had one piece of advice to give um, the youth at Trinity, it would be go on as many trips as you can, even if you don't know many people on them, because you will be making a lot of unexpected friendships on those trips that will last forever. My name is LaCoy Gregoire, and next year my plans are I'm going to Grand Canyon University in Arizona. I'll be playing hockey and majoring in business administration. A trip memory that I have was going to Houston with a bunch of people I was really close with and coming back two weeks later and knowing a lot of people very well. Hi, I'm Jordan Carlson. I will be attending UND next year, majoring in physical or occupational therapy. And my advice to the younger class is to make as many memories as you can because they will last a lifetime. All right, my name is Angus Wiggy Schlick, and uh, what I plan on doing next year is going to NDSU for business management. I wouldn't say it's a good memory, but one of my most, like, rememberable moments on a church trip was probably when everybody got sunburnt in Galveston. Everybody did. Hi, I'm Laura and I'm going to be attending Concordia College in the fall, hopefully. <laughs> um, I would say having or getting to give my senior speech or my senior sermon in front of my family and it was it was a great time. I also just love trips and times with friends. There are too many to even think about. Things are tough sometimes. I know I've gone through a lot in the past year, um, but I've been able to get through it um, because, partially because of the people at Trinity and the youth program, and I'm so grateful to them and to everybody at Trinity for all of that. So don't be afraid to rely on them, you know. They're, that's what they're there for, and they love you, and yeah, just trust them. Just like love life. <laughs> graduating in the year of 2020 and I'm still I'm still alive like let's do this <laughs> I'm Caleb Norris I am attending M State Wadena next year to become an electrical linesman and I'd say to all the younger 
uh, people coming up through the church, I'd say go on the houseboat trip and definitely the mission trips. Hi, my name is Hunter Covey. Next year I plan to study at NDSU for economics and minoring in computer science and then run the marathon at the end of August. And then my favorite memory from church is going on all the houseboat trips or just any church trips in general like going to Houston. And my recommendation or advice is to just go to any church trip you can and just enjoy it while it lasts. Today we are joined by members of our congregation who are upon their completion of their high school education. We join them in celebrating this accomplishment and recognize them as young adults taking their place among us in this world. In holy baptism, you've been marked with the cross of Christ forever. As you experience the pain and excitement of change and the insecurity and wonder of moving on, you may also experience the blessing of God's never failing love for you. God of our beginnings, we thank you for the gifts of these graduates, their excitement, their awesome wonder and curiosity, their open speech and encouraging words. Their contributions have blessed and challenged us, and we have become a richer and more diverse community because of them. As they step forward into the world that awaits them, comfort their fears with the knowledge of your divine presence. Strengthen their resolve to walk in the footsteps of Jesus as modern day disciples in a world that needs their spirit. Guide their feet as they move through life, counseling to their questions of decisions and the fruits of their choices. We ask this blessing upon each of them. Amen. May God bless you graduates and keep you safe through this adventure called life. Almighty God, bless and keep you. Renew the risen life of his Son within you and bring forth in the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
peace. Be a light. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.